Hello and welcome to Raw Architecture. My name is Andrew Hernandez. I am a California licensed architect. And today in AutoCAD, we are going to discuss how I set up my exterior elevations using XREF, Frame, XCLIP, UCS Follow, and UCS Object. Now before we get started, I would like to invite you to the Amazon link below where you can find my book, How to Become an Architect Without a Degree. It is a guide to understanding the entire architectural licensing process in North America, available in paperback and Kindle. In this book, you will learn what an architect is, what an architect does, how much architects make, and of course, how to become an architect. If you are a parent, guardian, or guidance counselor, it is a great gift idea for the young adult or soon to be high school graduate, or anyone curious about architecture as a career. Whether it is attending an accredited university or following the unconventional work experience equivalent option that I did, after reading, you will be armed with enough information to decide if architecture is a career you would like to pursue. Okay, now we're going to discuss how I set up my exterior elevations in AutoCAD using UCS Follow, UCS Object, XREF, XCLIP, Frame. Okay, let's jump into AutoCAD. Okay, now the way that I draw my exterior elevations is I X-reference the floor plan into my elevation XREF file, which is then imported into my exterior elevation sheet file. Now what I do typically is center the floor plan here and then I project lines out and draw all of the exterior elevations. What I typically do is start with the front elevation no matter what orientation it is as far as north, south, east, west. I just prefer to draw the front elevation first and my particular preference is to go counterclockwise so I go right and then I go to the rear and then I go to the other side of the elevation. So what I'll do is project all my lines down. I'll draw my front elevation. Now once I complete the front elevation, I want to rotate so that I can look at the side elevation and start drawing that. But what I don't want to do is use the rotate command. Uh, and the reason for that is let's say you have some layers that are turned off or layers that are frozen. If you take all of the objects and you have a number of frozen layers or, or layers that are turned off and you rotate all of your objects just to change orientation so you can draw this particular elevation and those objects will get left behind in that ro rotation command. So what we want to do is leave everything where it is in the space and what we want to do is rotate the space itself and not the objects within the space. What we want to do is change the orientation of the display in AutoCAD. So this orientation that I'm talking about is called UCS. It stands for User Coordinate System. It is the system that has an X and Y axis for the user. And what we want to do is completely rotate that so that all of the objects stay in the same place and all we're doing is looking at it from a different angle. In order to do that, is using a command called UCS follow. The default setting for UCS follow is zero. So what you want to do is type in UCS follow in the, into the command line and you want to change this UCS follow to one. So we'll type in one. Okay, there it is. Now what, now what I, you want to do is I'm going to go like this and just draw a line from bottom up. And now what I'm going to do is type in UCS and you have a number of options, face, named, object, previous, view, world, X, Y, Z axis. What we're going to use is object, OB, enter, and then you select that line that you just drew. What it does is it took the orientation that we were looking at AutoCAD and it rotated it 90 degrees. So now, I can project all my lines down to draw this exterior elevation. So now once this side elevation is complete, we want to move to the rear. Now this is a line where you have to do top to bottom and we'll go UCS object. And now we're looking at the rear. So now we can project all of our lines from the floor plan and draw the exterior elevations. Same thing with the side, we'll go line top to bottom. UCS object and now we can look at the other side. Okay and then once you're finished drawing all of your elevations and you want to orientate back to the front elevation 
Very simply, just type in UCS and it will rotate back to your original orientation. It'll reset your UCS so that your model space area is oriented to the default location, which is where you want it. Okay, now that we've covered XREF, UCS follow, and the UCS object, let's jump back into the elevation sheet and we will set up the elevations in the display sheet using XREF clip. So what I'm gonna do is open my external references menu. You can open this by typing in XREF, enter, and it will pop open this menu. Then you're gonna hit this little symbol here and this is gonna navigate you to the file library that you want to. I'm gonna hit this little symbol here and that's gonna navigate, it's gonna pop open a window and you can select the file you want to import into this sheet file, this A5 sheet. So I'll click here and this is DWGs. Now if you want, you can do all kinds of different files. You can do DWG, image, DWF, DNG, PDFs, and a couple other options uh, that I don't really use, but you have options, different drawing file options you can import into this sheet file. Okay, so what we're gonna do is select the symbol here. I'm gonna do a DWG and I'm gonna select my elevation XREF file. Say open. Okay. And I'll just drop it in. We will reload the drawing. Okay, now we need to get all four elevations into this orientation here. So what we're gonna do is take this XREF that's basically treated as an object and we're going to copy it four times. Four elevations, four copies of this object. Now what we're gonna do is a command called xclip. It basically takes this object and you can just clip one portion of it so it just dis it's just displaying that particular clip. So we're gonna start with this front elevation. We'll type X clip in the command line, enter, and we will select the object and the dialog box comes up and you just select a new boundary and rectangle and you just draw a rectangle around this. Now all of that is gone and it's just displaying this portion and we want to do this four times, X clip, new rectangle. There's the side elevation, new rectangle, X clip, new rectangle. And before we finish up this video, please visit the Raw Architecture Etsy store, link in the description, where we have stock plan sets the raw architecture residential master set and project related checklists for property owners looking to hire an architect. There we go. There's our four views. So we'll move them over towards our sheet. And what we're going to do is I have these preset lines of where these are located. So what I'm going to do is move these in place and with this you just rotate it rotating this object has no effect on the UCS this is just rotating to orient the elevation in the correct location because it's treated as an object in this file it's not going to have the effect that rotating it in the actual drawing file would what we'll do is just move everything in This one is this. And this one, grab from here, put it in place. Now, as you can see, there are these boxes around the clipped X ref. And if we go to plot, we can see these boxes are being displayed in the actual PDF plot file, which we don't want. So, what we're going to do is another command called frame. F-R-A-M-E, enter. And what you wanna do is type zero, enter, and those frames will disappear. 
do a purge real quick. Okay, the drawing's clean. Now, preview, we have a clean, ready to go sheet file PDF. Here we go. There is your exterior elevation. Looks pretty dang good. It's a little light, but I like my drawings to look like that. It prints out really nicely. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to support this channel further, please visit the Amazon link below or the Etsy store for the digital products we have available. Also leave a like and subscribe as it greatly helps these videos achieve more and more viewers.